Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to my podcast. My name is Matteo Venieri, and this is the MVP Show. I decided to start my channel by doing a series of videos on NFL teams. I went through off-season moves for all 32 teams. I went through their schedules, and I analyzed everything, and I tried to predict the record for every single team. Now, these are all opinions. There are no facts here. Uh, but if you want to discuss with me, uh, leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Today, I will talk about the AFC East and the New England Patriots. Let's get to it. So, of course, uh, the Patriots won the, the division last season like they always do. Now, this season, of course, for the first time in 20 years, Tom Brady is not going to be a Patriot. And the division is, you know, as open as it's ever been the last 20 years. Now, that being said, uh, I don't think it's going to be drastically different for, for the Patriots. Um, now, I could talk about New England for hours. I'll, I'll try to, you know, uh, keep it just short in a few minutes. But um, the first thing I want to say is this. Um, their, their, their style of playing is going to be very, very similar in 2020 to what it was in 2019. They started the season 8-0, and 0, um, and Tom Brady was quoted saying something like, I am the most miserable quarterback who's 8-0. and 0. Uh, Now, the reason, I, I, would, I would argue, uh, and I think that's, that's why he was saying that, is that the defense was really carrying the load, and the offense was, was, was okay. Um, now that is going to be very, very similar to what's going to happen in 2020. Now, their defense that was ranked number one in, in many uh, categories last season is still very elite. Now, uh, the secondary is, is pretty much the same. Now, they did lose Calvanoi um, and... Um, God. In terms of front seven, they did lose Calvanoi um, and Jamie Collins again, um, Nate Abner... So Don Ty Tower is really the only linebacker left. Uh, and, and, you know, something is going to look different in that front seven. But, but I feel like the defense could still be top, top five, maybe top seven, top eight uh, in the league. In terms of offense, now the offense with Tom Brady was all about finding the right guy, the open guy, you know, good O-line, of course, but quick reads, uh, short completions, and move the chains. Now... I don't think that Jared Stidham is going to be asked to do anything different. When he was in college, that was already his style of playing. You know, he, he was being careful with the ball, not turn the ball over, um, look for the right man, right position, get the completion, move the chains. And I think that's that that's the same style. And of course, you have the GOAT on the bench. So for all these reasons, I think that... Um, the Patriots are going to have a, a good season, not a 12-win season um, like they always do, not even a 10-win uh, season. Uh, but now let's look at the schedule. Okay, uh, in terms of strength of schedule, this is the hardest um, of the whole league. Uh, the reason is that, sure, they do play still the AFC East teams who are not really going to you know, be, be great this season. They're going to be better. Uh, but the main reason is that the Patriots play seven teams that were in the playoffs last season. That is a lot. Um, now, if we look at this schedule, uh, I, I see a few things that really um, just just jump out of the screen. I see that week seven matchup uh, at home against San Francisco. Now, I think San Francisco is heavily favorite in that game. But I think it's funny because you have Jimmy G, who you know was supposed to be in that position, uh, against Jerry Stidham, who is in that position right now, I would, you know, just just bet my money that you know Jimmy Garoppolo is gonna have a great game that day. Um, if I look at these, the the second half of the season, I see three road games in a row. You go twice to LA. They're definitely gonna be there. They have a short week. Um, I think they have a legitimate shot at winning those two games in LA. Uh, the Chargers are probably going to be playing Justin Herbert, um, you know, uh, late in the season. So it's a rookie quarterback. I can see the Patriots having, you know, uh, an advantage there. The Rams, I mean, the Patriots, it was just two seasons ago that the Patriots and the Rams were, were facing each other in the Super Bowl. And I think the Rams' offense is significantly worse than the Patriots' defense compared to two years ago. So I think the Patriots could, you know, get both teams, um, sorry, both games. 
uh, I would now in my in my schedule we're gonna see. I think it's a split. Uh, but really, what I think, uh, and this is again likely slash best case scenario, I guess, for the Patriots, uh, that Week 16 game at home against Buffalo, that could be the division, um, and that could even be whether you're in or out of the playoffs, because I think that um, I, I'm going to talk about Buffalo in a few minutes, but I think those two teams are pretty much going to be close uh, throughout the season. And a win here and a loss there in week 16 could make those two teams switch in the rankings. Um, so uh, now let's look at the results in my mind. Uh, I think this is an eight and eight season. Um I think that those wings that my, uh, that that the Patriots can get are uh, Miami. Uh, probably going to be just one of those. They always lose once against Miami. Uh, I think Vegas. I think Denver. Uh, the Jets. Um, you know the 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 um, sorry, the Cardinals. Uh, those are all teams with young quarterbacks. Or or in, um, in, we talk about the Raiders. It's, Derek Carr is not young, but uh, he's, he's not. He's not played at stellar level in the last couple of years. So I, I think those teams um, are going to be facing a very tough New England defense. And so I think that those games are going to be very, very, um, you know, winnable. I'm not saying that they're going to be, you know, uh, for sure uh, walking into that stadium with a W already, you know, on their schedule. But those are winnable games. I think at Seattle, at San Fran- um, sorry, at Kansas City against San Francisco, those are going to be very, very tough games. Um, I think they split against Buffalo. Uh, like I said, I think they split against Miami. They better win both team, both, both games against the Jets. That's for sure. Um, and I think Houston. I think Houston has, uh, in Deshaun Watson, such a great quarterback that even though, and I'm going to talk about uh, Houston uh, in a couple of episodes, but I think it's a, it's a, it's a good team, good enough to overcome the Patriots' defense. But that's a winnable game, honestly. That, that's kind of a coin flip in my mind. So that's eight and eight for the Patriots. Um, so let's move to the next team. 